morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Saturday morning. I'm so glad you're able to join me as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call upon him. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today, oh, I don't know what our psalm is today. Let's look it up here. Uh, doing some work here. Uh, today is... Today is the 25th, isn't it? Yes. Psalm 43. Give judgment for me, O God, and defend me, my cause, against any ungodly people. Deliver me from the deceitful and the wicked, for you are the God of my strength. Why have you put me from you, and why do I go so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? Send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling, that I may go to the altar of God, to the God of my joy and gladness. And on the harp I will give thanks to you, O God, my God. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give, I will yet give thanks to him, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Let us pray. Almighty Father, source of everlasting light, send forth your truth into our hearts and pour over us the brightness of your light to bring us through our joyful and, and participation at your altar so that you are eternal dwelling on high where you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Our reading today, where am I? First reading is from Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, beginning with verse 17. If you say in your heart, they, uh, these nations are greater than I, how can I dis, uh, dispossess them? You shall not be afraid of them, but you shall remember what the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and to each and all Egypt. The great trials which you your eyes saw, the signs, the wonders, the mighty hand, and the outstretched arm by which the Lord your God brought you out. So will the Lord your God do all the people's of whom you are afraid. Moreover, the Lord your God will send hornets among them until those who... My fingers are stuck today. ...are left and hide themselves from you, are destroyed. You shall not be in dread of them, for the Lord your God is in the midst of you. A great and terrible God, the Lord your God, will clear away those nations before your, you little by little... You may, not, uh, you may not make an end of them at once, lest the wild beasts grow too numerous for you. But the Lord your God will give them over to you and throw them into a great confusion until they are destroyed, and he will give their kings into your hand, and you shall, uh, shall make their name perish from under heaven. Not a man shall be able to stand against you until you have destroyed them. The graven image of their gods you shall burn with fire. You shall not covet the silver or the gold that is in them, or take it for yourselves, lest you be ensnared by it. For it is an abomination to the Lord your God, and you shall not bring an abominable things into your house and become accursed like it. You shall utterly detest and abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second reading comes from Titus, the third chapter, beginning with verse 1. Remind me then to be submissive to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for an honest work, to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, to, to have to gentle, 
to and to show perfect uh, courtesy toward all men. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by men and hating one another. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because are of deeds done by us in righteousness, but in virtue of our own mercy, by the way of washing of regeneration and renewal in the Holy Spirit, which he poured out upon us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. The saying is sure. I desire you to insist on these things, so that those who have believed in God may be careful to apply themselves to good deeds, these are excellent and profitable to men, but avoid stupid controversies, genealogies, dissensions, and quarrels over the law, for they are unprofitable and futile. As for a man who is a, a factitious, after abom abom ab admonishing him once or twice, have nothing more to do with him. Knowing that such a person is perverted and sinful, he is self-condemned. When I said, when I send Artemis uh, or Ticketus uh, to you. Do, you, do your best to come to me in Nicopolis, for I have decided to spend the winter there. Do your best to speed Zenus, the lawyer, and Apollos on their way. See that they lack nothing, and let our people learn to apply themselves to good deeds, so as to help cases of urgent need and not to be unfruitful. All who are with me send greetings to you. Gre uh, greet those who love us with those who love us in the faith. Grace be to with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our Holy Gospel today comes from St. John, the first chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, in this, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said to him, Behold, an Israelite indeed in whom there is no guile. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You shall see greater things than these. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God has spoken to his people of old, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Let justice roll down like water and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let justice roll down like water, and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Let us pray. Father, look upon our weakness and reach out to help us with your loving power. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. In all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this Saturday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day. I hope to see you tomorrow as well. And tomorrow is the first Sunday of Lent. God bless you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.